Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while and today we're doing kind of a double review or a smorgasbord of, of many things. So I'm, I'm smoking, I don't know if you can see the label, the, the camera's all, there we go. This is one of those flavored cigars. by CAO, is that who it is? Um, I also got a small little cigar here. Uh, I have a package from uh, smoking, no, was it smoke? No, 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 pipetobacco.com. Uh, so today we're doing, uh, CAO, we're doing this as well, Cherry Bomb. Uh, so we're gonna be doing the cigar as well as this in this one video. I don't know how I'm going to do this. So obviously, I'll edit out whatever and uh, go from there. But so far, the cigar is actually smaller, uh, at least in my mind right now, than from, uh, what was it? Oh, Moon Trance. And I'm not really getting a cherry vibe. I mean, the taste I'm getting on my lips is kind of... I don't know, it's kind of fruity. Um, it's very... It reminds me of Moon Trance, just muted. I say that a lot on this channel, don't I? But anyway, it's a pretty good cigar. My friend Lindsay at work would love this cigar. So if she's watching, maybe I'll have to pick you up one of these and uh, see if we can get the camera to focus. And uh, you can try it. And I'm going to tell you, the Shed of Solitude is an absolute disaster right now. Between stuff for getting the pool ready, the yard ready, this, i got to clean this all up. This is a disaster here. I had to fix He-Man and Skeletor behind me over there. They fell down, I guess, the when I slammed the door or whatever. But uh, in any case, i got to clean this out. There's a mess over here, there. It's been a long, messy winter in here. I got the, yeah, so I got the best top for the Jeep that I have to put in. I haven't gotten to that yet, um, but soon. I'm just waiting for the weather to get better because it's been shitty here. Um, but, oh, let's get into this. So what I got, a few tobaccos I've been wanting to try. Uh, we got Blood Red Moon by Cult, which Pretty good tobacco company, to be honest. I have to say, I, I like I like what they got there. Then this one, I had to get this uh, camping, and I almost had this tonight, but we'll try this probably tomorrow. We'll see. Um, I got another cobblestone one hiking. So I don't know if I'm going to try this in here or if when I go on a camp thing or a hiking. I don't know. I haven't decided. But the main thing I got was. Uh, Bill Bailey's Vulcan Blend, which I haven't tried, and I've been wanting to try it, and people have recommended to me on the channel here and in the comments section, and I never got around to it. So now I'm finally going to get around to this. I'll probably try this this week. Um, sorry, I was a little distracted. I heard voices, and I thought my neighbors were asked call my name for some reason. But... I kind of want to say, uh, this is better than the Moon Trance. This is not as flavorful, flavorful as that, but it's really, really good. Hmm. It's interesting. I'm not big on the flavored cigars, but. Every now and then, I mean, the acid one I had the, by Drew Estate there, that was probably my favorite flavored one, but that was really sweet. This is a pretty good one. This is pretty good, mild. Hmm. I like it. Uh, so, yeah, this week I was going to do a few videos uh, with the Jeep. Um, but that could put on hold due to the weather, a lot of that. And I haven't put all my mods in there yet. 
Uh, again, I got to get the top up on there and once that's done, I think I'll be good to go. I have I ran into a snag with the the bed cover, but I'll get into that in a video later on. Um, the, it's on there. It's just there's a little bit of a snag. It's got to be worked out, which isn't a problem. I can I think I can handle it. I think we'll see. But um, hope everyone's been well. Not too bad here. I don't know if I get like a hint of a cherry. Now, it'll be interesting to compare later on in the video when I get to this here, the, the t pipe tobacco here. Um, you know, cherry flavored pipe tobacco is kind of a thing. You know, it's kind of a... Kind of what a traditional kind of aromatic kind of smell is, right? Cherry. Um, but this is, cause I'm burning it uneven and I'm smoking it too fast, but it's for the video, right? So, hmm. Well, I want to smoke a little bit more and I'll get back to you guys let you know what I think all right guys I'm back and I'm almost done here as you can see and I gotta say I don't think the cigar is really wrapped all that well um, and that could be a problem and I did get a bit of I guess what you would say is like a hint of cherry but in the air like the the smoke not so much in a note I'm not getting much of notes but I'm I suck it Cigar notes, to be honest. Hmm. At the end, I don't think I can recommend this one. I don't think it's doing it for me, which is a shame because Moon, Moon Trance was really, really good. Well, you win some, you lose some. Let's find out how the pipe tobacco is. So we'll be doing that next. Shame. All right, we are back and we're gonna do the Cherry Bomb pipe tobacco now. Now with the, the cigar, I think it was kind of a, a letdown. I, you know, after having Moon Trance, I was expecting something pretty good. That was a good one. This one, it's not that I don't recommend it. If you're, you happen to come about it, try it. Let me know what you think, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. Let's say that. All right, so let's get into Cherry Bomb. I cracked the tin. I didn't smell it yet, so let's find out here. Um, move that there. Wow. I can smell the cherry now. <laughs> um, whoa. Okay. There you go. It's a bit wet. And it smells cherry. Very cherry. It's uh well this is interesting. There you go. See some there you go, you take a look. As you can see it's it's already broken up here. So it's not too wet. Um I think it's just about what you'd want it. It's a bit you can keep it chunked up, if you will. But kind of like when you're trying to make a snowball and it's it sticks a little but not quite enough to make a good snowball. But this reminds me of that candy you have, the chocolates with uh, the cherry inside and you break into it. You know, the I guess the Werther's chocolate or whatever. Very much like that. So... I can say that the tin note is pleasant, much so than, than the cigar. The cigar just didn't do it for me. Nothing. I didn't smell anything like this 
with the cigar. It smells nice. I like how it smells. How's it going to smoke? I don't know. It's Black Cavendish, it looks like. I don't know what else is in there, but um, we'll find out. But uh, anyway, let me get this all set up here. And I forgot to bring a pipe out. So today with this Savinelli 320 shed pipe is what we're going to use. So let me, I got a mess going on here. My God. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get this out of the way. Put this in here. Get some of this tobacco in here. I mean, it's not too, eh, it's breaking up. I don't know. Some for the shed guards. Putting the, the pipe jar there. All right, I think I got enough for, a, for smoke there. Let's put this back in there. I mean, it smells really, really good. Probably one of the best smelling tobaccos um, Tin note wise, one one of the best, not the best, but one of the one of the good ones. Just smelling the tin, but that doesn't mean diddly squat um, um, at all. Let me put this in there. There we go. Uh, if if the uh, <laughs> tobacco is not as good, all right. Pack this pipe up here. Do I? I hope I have. I do have a light. I hope I have fuel. Pack this here. Get a good amount. I think uh, I think it's the right wet. I don't think it's too dry, too wet. I think it's uh, it should be good. We'll find out. We will find out soon. All right, put that in there. All right, should get a draw. Let's hope I have uh, fuel here. If not, we're gonna have to. I oh, should be enough. I can smell that. I mean, the smoke is good. Like, the aroma is good. Of course, this is only the false light, right? So, we'll get into this in a minute. And I got a bit of a taste because it's, I assume it's infused. Whoops! A lot of the cherry. Although, I'm feeling like the stuff they put in it. It's making it tough to have the light stay. I don't know. Ever happened to that? Uh, did that ever happen to any of you out there? Where whatever they infused causes it to go out. That sucks. Yep. Oh, maybe I packed it too late. I don't know. A lot of black cherry kind of aromas going on here. Um, I mean, it's not bad. 
that's kind of the aftertaste you get in your mouth is a bit of that black cherry kind of thing and that's not bad let's see cao cherry bomb i'm on tobacco reviews here uh Virginia's uh, steamed black Cavendish. I'm not getting any Virginia. I mean, uh, vanilla. But that, I'm getting cherry, but it's like a black cherry, so that vanilla could be making it taste that way. So I don't know. Uh, it's already rubbed. Scandinavian Tobacco Group. Uh, for CAO International. That's who blended it. Um, let's see what people have to say. We got a 2.3. Huh. Um, this guy here. Two words. Cherry bomb. The cherry stands for harsh chemical. And the bomb stands for fail. Whew. I don't know if I'd go that harsh. Um, I don't know. That seems to be the, there's 11 one-star reviews, 14 two-star reviews, 13 three-star reviews, and six four-stars. So where do I land in this bunch here? Um, this is one that I think, If I could keep it lit. <laughs> now, unlike the cigar, I would recommend... You know, I was going to say purchase it, but I'm going to say if you come across it, if you came here to smoke in the Shed of Solitude, I'd offer it to you to try to smoke. Or if you were uh, at a friend and they had it, Give it a try, but uh, I would hold off on buying it, to be honest. Both of them. Definitely the, the, the cigar I would not even bother with, uh, to be honest, unless you came across it and found it. There's far better cigars to choose from, um, and there's far better aromatics to try. Um, but the Cherry Bomb, I, I will say this, the, the flavor is consistent, but it was infused. It wasn't really, I don't know. It's not bad, but I wouldn't, uh, I would, I would say don't go out and purchase it. Find it from a friend. Um, if you were at the tobacco store and, uh, at the tobacconist and you saw it, you're like, ah, I'll give it a shot and let Mike know it's garbage or I liked it or whatever. Or if, uh, you happen to be buying tins online and you happen to come across it and you're like, ah, what's one more? Then, then do that, but I would not seek it out, really. Which is a shame, because... Moon Trance was really, really good. I'll say out of the... The, uh... Tobaccos I got. I'm glad I started with this one and the cigar. I got that out of the way. Uh, this will probably be next. And then we'll probably do Bill Bailey's Balkan blend. I'll find out if I like that. And then the camping one, I don't know. We might take a road trip with the Jeep and kind of find a place to smoke and have, have that. I don't know. We'll see. Now, I would say this is a two-point... Well, they gave it a 2.3. I'd probably say the same, or 2.4. I'd leave it, eh, maybe 2.2. I would say more on the downside than the going upside, so to speak. Um, it'll be interesting if I let this age 
if uh, it'll improve, if it gets sweeter or something. So I'm going to try this again later on down the road. Anyway, that's going to do it for tonight. Um, thanks for joining. Uh, sorry the videos haven't been as consistent. I've been kind of busy. The weather's kind of crappy. Uh, I've been distracted by the Gladiator that I just bought, so that's kind of taken some time away. But uh, Cherry Bomb, uh, it's okay. If you come across it through a friend or something, get it. But otherwise, don't seek it out. Anyway, that's going to do it for tonight. I will see you guys... Tomorrow, probably.